Hi everybody, this is Bruce Main from Urban Promise and uh, thanks for the opportunity to be able to share a little bit about uh, giving and giving cheerfully uh, as part of your ways movement. Uh, you know, when I think about First Presbyterian Church of Morristown, I, I really do think of a giving church. Um, and I say this to you frequently that of all the churches that we work with and I've worked with for over 30 years, this is truly one of the most giving churches I've ever met. So thank you. Uh, because of you, we're able to do the work we do. Um, but, you know, today I want to just tell you a quick story about uh, a giver. You know, in my line of work, I get to see uh, just the, the giving side of so many people and people who give in so many different and creative and wonderful ways. Uh, a couple years ago, I got a phone call late August. And it was from a woman from Chambersburg. Her name's Carla. And I picked up the phone and she said, hi, Bruce, this is Carla. And uh, she said, Jesus is telling me to give a gift to Urban Promise. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> and uh, I said, well, well, how big a gift is Jesus uh, telling you to give? And uh, she said, well, he's telling me to give a big gift. And I'm like, thank you, Jesus. Uh, so, uh, so we talked and I found out that it was her birthday. And in honor of her birthday, she wanted to give a gift to our international work uh, in Malawi. So I'm excited. So I said, well, listen, Carla, I'll take the weekend. I'll outline some really exciting projects that we want to get done uh, in Malawi. And I'll send it to you Monday. And, and hopefully you can pick one of those. And so over the weekend, I put together this great proposal. I outlined these really uh, amazing projects. And I sent it to her Monday. And I didn't hear anything. Tuesday, didn't hear anything. Wednesday, didn't hear anything. So finally, later in the week, I call her and I said, Carla, just, just checking back. Uh, you know, I sent you some really exciting gifts or ideas for giving. Um, any of them, uh, you know, hit home with you? And she said, you know, I read them through and, and God's just not speaking to me. And I'm like, well, what happened? I thought you had a 1-800 number to God. And uh, so... I said, well, look, listen, we, we've got a few more days to your birthday. Why don't we just hang on and we'll see what happens? A couple days later, I'm uh, sitting down with one of our board members and he had just got back from Malawi and he had given the graduation talk at one of our ministries called Seas of Promise. And this is a, an entrepreneurial program where we teach kids through, through uh, farming techniques. And, and also we have a few sewing machines. We're teaching some kids some sewing techniques. And uh, Neil shared with me a letter from a young girl. And in the letter, she said, you know, I was in a very dark place. And uh, through this ministry, Seeds of Promise, um, I just have begun to see that I have a future for the first time. And I said, Neil, could you share that letter with me? And so he took a picture and texted it over to me. And I, I texted it to Carla in Chambersburg. And I said, Carla, hey, just thought you'd want to see this. And, uh, you know, by the way, they really want to build a sewing center. Well, a couple minutes later, I get a phone call from Carla and she says, this is, this is it. This is what I want to give to. And I said, well, why, why this? And she said, well, a couple things. She said, you know, I really struggled with depression. And so when I read the note of this young girl who, who found herself in a very dark place, I could relate to that. And then she also said, you know, my grandma taught me to sew. And I have these incredibly fond memories of my grandmother teaching me to sew. And then she said, here's the condition, though. I'll give you the money for the sewing center, but you got to promise me one thing. And I said, what's that? And she said, well, on the wall, you have to paint this. And I said, well, what? And she said, I want you to paint the verse, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And I said, Carla, you got a deal. And I remember thinking about that story. And, you know, giving, it's not a tax and it's not a, a membership due to belong to a church, but you know, giving is really a, a spiritual exercise. And I really think that as God's people, as Christians, we should be asking the Spirit to connect our hearts with opportunity uh, that allows us to make a difference in the world. And I think when there's a heart con connection um, that connects our resources with opportunity, I think, I think that's when we begin to give cheerfully. So. I hope you'll uh, think about giving uh, during this week and, uh, and think about Consecration Sunday uh, coming up on the 18th. And again, I'm grateful for you and your generosity over the years.